Hi. Now, if you've been watching my previous videos on De Marva's theorem, I've got an example here which is based on using that theorem. Where what I want you to do is simplify the cosine of 2 pi over 9 plus i sine 2 pi over 9, all squared, divided by the cosine of pi over 18 minus i sine pi over 18, all to the power 4. So if you'd like to give this a go, just pause the video, come back when ready, and you can check your work solution with mine. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So let's see how we do this. Well, first of all, I'm assuming then that you're familiar with De Marva's theorem. If not, it's here. Essentially, De Marva's theorem states that if z equals r all multiplied by cos theta plus i sine theta then z to the power n equals r to the power n cos n theta plus i sine n theta for all real powers okay now the first thing i notice with something like this is that what we've got down here is this complex number here which has got this negative n so before I can use De Marva's theorem, which only works when we've got the plus here, you know, what I've got to do is rewrite this particular complex number. And we should be familiar with this result as well, that if z is equal to cos theta minus i sine theta, I showed you in an earlier video, then that this was equal to z equaling cos of negative theta plus i sine negative theta. So we've got to use this result first of all on the bottom here. So let's just copy out the top again. What we've got then is the cosine of 2 pi over 9 plus i sine 2 pi over 9. And that is all to the power then of 2. And that is divided by and so to get this now in the correct form, OK, with a plus here, I pick up on this result here and change this to the cosine then of minus pi over 18 plus i sine of minus pi over 18. And all of this then is to the power 4. Now next... I can use De Marva's theorem, okay, up here, where all I need to do is just take our power and multiply it by the argument, okay? So for the top line here, we're going to have the cosine then of 2 times 2 pi over 9, which is going to be 4 pi over 9, and the same for the sine, i sine of 4 pi over 9. And all of this is divided then by, and we do exactly the same here, we multiply 4 with the argument, okay. So we do 4 multiplied by minus pi over 18 is going to give us minus 4 pi over 18. So we've got cosine of minus 4 pi over 18 plus, and the same for the sine, i sine of minus 4 pi over 18. OK, so that's using De Marva's theorem. Now, when we're dividing two complex numbers in mod arg form, do you remember I showed you in an earlier video the result that this was exactly the same as subtracting the args from one another? So this is going to be the cosine of 4 pi over 9, OK, our top angle here. And then we subtract the angle on the bottom. So we've got a minus, minus 4 pi over 18. And then we've got plus i sine. And again, it's much the same kind of thing. 4 pi over 9, subtract minus 4 pi over 18. Okay? 
So if we work out what that angle is, remember we're working in radians, so it turns out to be 2 thirds pi. So we've got the cos of 2 thirds pi and plus I sine of 2 thirds pi. And if you work out the cosine of 2 thirds pi in radians then, it turns out to be exactly minus a half. And the sine of 2 thirds pi in radians turns out to be root 3 over 2. So it's i times root 3 over 2. OK? So hopefully that gives you an idea then when you've got to handle the simplification of problems like this. OK?